Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hi, hey, hello. I don't know if you can hear me. It's pouring rain. Alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar. Anyways, I wanted to hop on real quick and share with you guys one of my favorite processes of studying as a convert to Islam from Christianity. So right here is my Bible. I grew up with this Bible. There are tabs and highlights and papers from 15 years ago in this Bible. And here we have my favorite copy, my favorite translation of the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran in today's English by Yahya Imre. Now, my favorite thing to do is while I'm studying my Quran or just reading the translation here, I like to cross-reference it with my Bible. Now, I love having this conversation and doing this with my husband because as a born Muslim, he wasn't really exposed to the Bible or the Torah or anything, you know, he just read the Quran growing up. But I, however, am a huge believer in the fact that Islam is the final Abrahamic religion. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was the seal on the Abrahamic religions from Allah. We as Muslims are told to love and respect the gospel and the previous prophets that were sent from Allah. And I think it's very important that we do our due diligence in understanding all of these religions and where our religion comes from. We know that when the Muslims escaped and went to the Abyssinian king, one thing that they did was recite from the Quran about Isa, may Allah be pleased with him. And the Abyssinian king was like, how do you know about these revelations? How do you know about him and his life? And they were like, the Quran, duh. So just for funsies, I wanted to hop on here and show you some of my studies and some of my reflections, which I think is just fun. I'm currently on the chapter al Ma'da from the Quran. It's the banquet table. And in this chapter, we do have a lot of heavy discussion around Musa salam or Moses. So to bring you up to speed, we're on the part where Musa salam is bringing the people into the land of Canaan to find safety, right? And they're terrified. But Moses, they cried, there's a powerful nation already here in this land and will never be able to enter it unless they leave. If they go away then and only then can we go in. However, two God-fearing men who, upon whom Allah had granted his favor came forward and boldly suggested, enter their main stronghold through a certain entrance. We have discovered it on our scouting mission. When you're inside the walls of the city, the victory will be yours. Trust in Allah if you really have faith. Now, if you're a Christian, you know this story. And if you are a Christian, you should know that the Bible tells us in numbers specifically that these men are Caleb and Joshua and that Caleb and Joshua were not able to convince people to go. And because they were not able to convince them, Allah said, OK, fine, you will be not allowed to enter for 40 years as your punishment because you do not trust and believe in me. So they wandered the desert for 40 years. During this time, Musa salam, passed away and Joshua had to take over for him. Right. And this is the fun part. Now we're going to go to my Bible here and we're going to turn to numbers, which is very early on in the Old Testament. Right here. Numbers. Leviticus numbers. So now for my Muslim homies who are not familiar with the Bible, I'm going to read to you guys the story from numbers and it's beautiful. Now it's around chapter 14. I'm going to skim a little bit. That night, all the people of the community raised their voices and wept aloud. All the Israelites grumbled against Moses and Aaron and the whole assembly said to them, if only we had died in Egypt or in this desert, why would the Lord bring us to this land only to let us be fall by the sword? They're all convinced their children and women are going to be just pillaged. It's a whole thing. Then Musa, Moses and Harun Aaron fell face down in front of the Israelite assembly gathered there. And Joshua, son of Nun and Caleb, son of Jephumna, who were among those who had been told to explore the land, tore their clothes and said to the entire Israelite assembly, the land we passed through and explored is exceedingly good. If the Lord is pleased with us, he will lead us into that land, a land of flowing milk and honey and will give it to us. Do not be afraid of the people there for he will swallow them up. Their protection is gone. The Lord is with us. So do not fear. So the Bible tells us that there were 12 spies that went and the Quran mentions two men, which we know from the Bible as Caleb and Joshua. Anywho, doing this for me is so satisfying. It's so fulfilling. I love being able to just prove over and over and over that Islam is the truth. Islam came down to finalize all of the Abrahamic religions. The Prophet Muhammad Wasallam was the seal of the prophets. And if you want to hear more information about this, if you enjoy this kind of comparative 
studies that I like to do on my own, let me know and maybe I'll share more with you from the Quran and the Bible, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bye.